Novidades no combate de God of War Ragnarok já começou. From a combat perspective, I always and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War game is combat. Com certeza, né? Com certeza, né? <risos> Nossa, já teve uma arrancada de cabeça ali, amigo. Combate e inimigos elevados. Meu nome é uh, Roberto Clemente. Uh, all my friends call me Bert. E aí, Bert? Eu sou um senior combat animator aqui na Sony Santa Monica. Meu nome é Kim Nguyen e eu sou um animador de game. Play e aí, Kim? Oi, eu sou Sabra. E aí, Sabra? E eu sou um senior VFX artista em God of War Ragnarok. Meu nome é Grace Pan e eu sou um animador de game em God of War Ragnarok. Oi, eu sou Steven Oyawa GVA, combat designer em God of War. E eu crio criaturas interessantes e memoráveis que os jogadores gostam de atacar e se defender contra. Isso é uma evolução grandiosíssima no jogo, tá? Você faz eles move, você dá eles personalidades, você dá eles weight. My role as a VFX artist is to put the power behind a move. You are in control of fire and earth and water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, the effects is what... Caralho, você viu que inimigo bizarro, velho? And the danger to every Desculpa o palavrão, guys. Não, eu assustei. I work really closely with the design team and the tech art team on this project specifically. We actually work a lot with camera. Oh? Along with the guidance of our great camera team. So I find myself doing fight choreography sometimes. Obrigado, né? <laughs> Olha o Atreus ali, vocês viram o Atreus montado no, no alce? Não é a técnica de implementação de criar uma criatura, mas é realmente navegar essa linha entre frustrar e engajar. Queremos fazer algo que faz os jogadores lean forward e focus e realmente tentar hard contra esse inimigo e se sentir bem sobre overcome isso, mas não queremos fazer eles se sentirem defeated se eles não conseguem resolver algo. E aí, se sente divertido quando você ganha, não porque foi impossível, mas porque foi divertido e engajado. After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, é. creatures, and enemy variety. É, isso era importante. Mesmo deu para ver que nesse jogo vocês vão perceber, mano. Nine realms, and each realm is going to have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. Tem muito inimigo novo. Alfheim, we're familiar with the dark elves, but this time around we're going to be fighting light elves, such as the light elf warrior. One of the key learnings from the last God of War game is we don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is going to feel. We already have that knowledge. Mm -hmm. so we can build upon the close camera that we have. And we can iterate on enemies, creating more interesting scenarios. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos, and he was learning from the master tactician. So in this game, he's trying to prove himself a little bit more, and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God of War, Atreus was still a kid, right? So he has a lot of dependency on his father. And for this game, you will see Atreus moving more independently. Nossa, real, real. Tem hora que o moleque te esquece, mano. Tá, ah, garoto. Me ajuda, caralho. For Kratos, I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the God of War. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. <laughs> so as Kratos gets more powerful, he's going to have access to newer combos and newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. For the Blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of Wars is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very excited for players to try the blade grapple traversal moves. That brings so much more speed into the Nossa, sim. and the dynamic field. Adição incrível também, tá? One of the ways we've Se rotaciona rápido pelo seu... Nossa, é bom. Given more utility and choice to the shield loadout. Mm -hmm. If you are a parry person, you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. Mm -hmm. Logo de cara, tá? Já libera os escudos. These combo finishers, building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically to capitate the enemy. You're going to be able to choose, you know, which weapon you want to have when you kill a guy. 
Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. You could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. Eu erro toda hora esse ataque. Tá parecendo fácil. Eu erro toda hora. Verticality in some of these fights that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have so much mobility and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another interesting layer to a fight. In God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Some of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now, he's bigger now. And he's different from Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. Oh, oh. Not only that they fight side by side together, um, there are also a lot of mini games and, you know, player interaction moments. For example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces, you definitely will see a lot more collaborations between father and son. <laughs> there is so much that goes into building a big set piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically, every department gives it their all to make things really. Caralho, tomei um spoiler. <laughs> There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages. Eu vou ficar quieto. 2018. There were so many amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me on my time on this project. For the old father! Our design philosophy for creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess, and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has its own theme and its own use. You need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. Esse é legal mesmo. E cada inimigo tem uma característica muito única que você tem que definir a estratégia para matar aquele inimigo, sabe? Não é só bater igual em todo mundo. Such as what we did in the last game, that lets you know that this attack is unblockable. You need to dodge it. There's so many different ways that the effects really helps not just show what an enemy is about to do, but show who the enemy really is. <clears throat> Everything you design has to be surrounding the essence of the character in a story. It's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. You will be fighting everything from small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. All of their designs run the gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And so I think if you are really into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of War. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it and intent behind it. And by the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen that you're going to play and experience has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and it's fun to play. Esse ataque, <laughs> Esse ataque tem no Ascension, que a gente tá jogando agora em live. Senhoras e senhores, vidiaço. Só queria corrigir aí que eu não tomei spoiler, tá? Depois deu pra perceber que eu não tomei spoiler. Mas eu pensei que tinha tomado um spoiler. Subiu até um arrepio aqui. Aliás, é, eu vi alguns spoilers que vazaram. Uh, e até o momento do jogo que eu cheguei, alguns são verdades e alguns são mentiras. Então, eu vou aproveitar esse vídeo aqui pra reiterar que se você tiver algum programa pra bloquear nomes... Bloqueia Kratos, Atreus, é, os deuses nórdicos, God of War, Ragnarok, sabe? Então bloqueia tudo isso pra você não ver spoilers, tá? Tem uma porrada de extensão de navegador que, que corrige essa situação, certo? Gostou do vídeo? Deixe seu like, se inscreve no canal pra mais conteúdo. E gostariam que eu fizesse uma análise mais pontual, pausando, apontando, falando olha isso aqui, olha aquilo ali. É, a minha experiência de já jogar o jogo e algumas coisas que eu vi aí Dá pra uh, a gente conversar sobre algumas coisas que não vai estragar a experiência de vocês com a gameplay, tá? 
Então, se você tiver interesse, manda aí nos comentários. Mas eu só queria dizer que, a princípio, esse vídeo é muito bom, porque ele, de fato, ele reflete bastante da experiência que está sendo jogar agora o War Ragnarok neste início. É, tudo, tudo que eles falaram, é, todas as cenas, tudo isso realmente deixa é, bastante visível a incrível experiência que está sendo, e eu creio que a gente tem muito conteúdo para ganhar em cima, é, 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 aliás, muita, muita, muitas impressões boas para ganhar desse vídeo aí que a gente assistiu. Muito obrigado você que assistiu, deixe seu like se você gostou, tamo junto, é nóis, até a próxima, um beijo e tchau!